I'm Dre on my daybed, Dre on my daybed, and this is my stupid song. Hello, lovely. Make that one. Where have I been? I did some things. I had some fun. I went some places, did some stuff. I'd like to tell you about it. If you want to listen, keep watching. So, the hiking happened with Ian and the camping, and oh, it was so much fun, and I hiked. Not just like around the block hiked, I hiked for real. Like I thought I was gonna die and fall over and old people were gonna have to carry me down because seriously, older people on this hike were moving way faster than me. And it's not just because I'm big or because of the fibromyalgia, it's because, oh my God, we were at 10,000 feet, I have asthma and I hiked, me, not on the daybed, up on the John Muir Trail in the Eastern Sierras. Insane, right? Well. Here's a couple pictures of things that I looked at while I was trying to catch my breath and everybody left me in the dust. We had a great time. It was awesome. We caught fish. We ate fish. We looked around. We slept on dirt. So after camping, we got home and I had like one, two, three, four, five, five days to recuperate from our hi camping, hiking, driving. Did I say that it was six hours each way? really really far so after that i had four or five days to recover and then viva la france <laughs> my friends my french friends they came to visit me for my birthday the first night there's a little bit of translator action going on but this time it really didn't seem too bad and then the next day we went to the races which is like one of my all-time favorite things to do we didn't stay for the whole thing because sadly we lost a whole 12 dollars and we just weren't inspired but it's okay because children shouldn't be gambling anyways. Right? Right? <laughs> so after the races, the very next day, we went hiking again. I went hiking at Torrey Pine State Park. And here's some pictures of us doing that here. And then here. And then here. And then there was a surprise. This is when the teasing began. There was a surprise for the next day and I didn't know where we were going. And um, so I was waiting and I was trying to guess and they were teasing me and I couldn't figure it out. And then I was given a clue that it started with a W and then I started to realize, oh, somebody said something about a boat. We drove to Point Loma somewhere where boats are and uh, we went whale watching. And that was, Fabulous! I saw a plethora of dolphins. I swear there was one there. And here's a picture of another dolphin. No, no, really, there were dolphins there. Oh, well, not very many dolphin pictures. And then um, after a little bit of a rest, after the whale watching, which was a, the most awesome three-hour boat ride ever, uh, we went to Il Fornaio. It's an Italian place and it had an awesome view and I got sat in the middle of the table facing that view because it's my birthday, it was my birthday, yay! We had uh, some tiramisu and oh, I think that was my most favorite thing out of the whole entire menu. Um, they did it right. It wasn't pre-packaged lady fingers, it was the real deal. Yum. We were very sad to say goodbye to our French friends because you know, we won't see them for a while, but we're very excited to say that the next time we see them, it's going to be in France because they've already been here twice and it's definitely our turn to hop the pond. Is that what it's called? The pond? Hop the pond. <gasps> I almost forgot the most important thing. Oh my gosh. When we were camping in the Eastern Sierras, we saw the comet, the meteor, the space junk. It was so bright. We kept waiting for it to fizzle out and it didn't. It just got brighter. And then right when it was almost about to leave our range of sight, it started to break up. It was so incredible. I thought for sure, I thought for sure that this was like the impact moment. You know, this is it, this is 2012. And I kept waiting to hear it crash because I, I just felt it, I knew for sure. And we did, we heard this big, huge boom. It was like three minutes after it passed our sight and it didn't crash, it just, broke up into pieces and we were thinking that sound was maybe a sonic boom um maybe i don't know i don't know if it was a sonic boom i don't know if it was a shockwave i don't know if it was the sound of the 
space junk breaking apart, what I do know is that there's not a whole lot of media about it, and I'm totally a conspiracy theorist. A conspiracy theorist. So yeah, go check that out. Check it out. <laughs> it's all art. It's all for art. It's for the art. Something rusty. Abstract. <laughs>